Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to take a quick look at 2D effector components. Uh, now, I want to explain the scene right now. Uh, if you have been following my 2D platformer tutorial series, this scene should look familiar. If not, the only thing that'll matter uh, for this tutorial right now is that we have this ground piece right here that has a 2D box collider on it, and our player has 2D colliders and a 2D rigid body. 2D effector components are objects that will affect 2D rigid bodies that come in contact with it in different ways. Let's just go ahead and show you uh, what a few of them look like. So you could get to the effector components by going to Physics 2D and then down at the bottom, or you can start typing in effector and it'll show up. So probably the most useful one is this one right here, the platform effector. So I'm going to make sure I have my platform selected and create that component on it. Uh, now the first thing you'll notice is that it has a little warning symbol right here. It's pretty much just saying that uh, the 2D collider on this object needs to have this checkbox used by effector checked on. So you check that on and the warning goes away. So right away you'll notice that there is this one-way uh, checkbox checked, which means that we have one-way collision on this platform right now. Uh, there will be collision on the top, but not on the bottom for rigid bodies that pass through it. So if I jump up and down, I won't fall through it, but I can jump through the bottom of it. And if I check that off, I'm not able to do that anymore. The next one that I want to talk about is side friction. Uh, I'm going to check it on so I can demonstrate what it does real quick. If I fall off the side and continue to hold the right arrow key, I'll stick to the side of the platform. Um, unless I have side friction checked off. So now I just slide right off. Uh, next, the side bounce is a little harder to demonstrate, but it's kind of the same uh, concept for friction except in bounce. To demonstrate side bounce, you're first going to need a physics material 2D on your collider that is bouncy. So I've got one right here that is bouncy. Uh, so I will apply it right here. And if I hit, if I play the game, you'll see that my character bounces, uh, and that is due to the physics material that is on it. Uh, now. Before I demonstrate this side uh, bounce checkbox, I want to talk about the side angle variance, um, which will help me demonstrate it a little better. So I'm going to duplicate that platform and rotate it at a slight angle, and hit play. Now if I jump over here, I'm still bouncing on it, and um, I have side bounce checked off. So that means that... Uh, this is still considered the top of the object. So if I start changing the angle variance, eventually I will stop bouncing. And that is because now this slope is considered a side because of this uh, side angle variance. Um, so yeah, now that I don't bounce, I could uh, check on this side bounce. And even though it's still considered a side, I will still bounce on it. Alright, so that is the platform effector component. Next, let's look at the surface effector. Uh, the surface effector is pretty simple. It's got speed and speed variation, which, there, if I hit play, you see that it's moving my character, and I'm still bouncing because I still have that bounce material. I'm going to take that off. Uh, so it moves my character clockwise. Um, at the speed. So if I'm under it, it's going to push me this way. If I'm on this side, it's going to push me up. And on this side, it's going to push me down. Top pushes me to the right. So if I do this, you can see that it actually moves me still. Uh, so this is good for if you need a conveyor belt sort of sort of deal in your game. Uh, speed variation is just changing the... It'll, uh, it'll randomize it between this using this speed as a base and then adding or subtracting that amount. Uh, and say I wanted to go the other way, I could just change the speed to be a negative value. And now, it'll push me the other way. Alright, that's enough of that. Uh, next, I want to talk about the uh, point effector 2D component. Uh, now this one requires... Oh, so the previous, the previous ones that I was using, I had this used by effector checkbox checked, but not is trigger checked. Uh, for this point effector, it needs to be a trigger and it needs to have this checked. 
Uh, and this one, I will show what it does. You see it's kind of pushing my player to the right. Um, it's actually pushing my player towards the center of this object. Uh, and I can decrease that value to make it stronger. Or I can increase it and make it positive to actually repel my character from that, uh, from that point. Uh, and this is, I'm going to set it back to negative 50. This is useful for if you're doing like a Mario Galaxy sort of, sort of game and you need uh, planets to suck you in or something. Uh, force variation is kind of like the speed variation that I talked about earlier. Um, I'm going to stop that real quick. <laughs> Let's see, drag and angular drag are the same as the drag and angular drag on your rigid body, and that is just um, uh, how much it slows down, your rigid body slows down every frame. Uh, source target, or uh, force source, is um, where you want the the rigid body to be pulled to. So by default, it's set to rigid body, which is just going to be the center of the object. But say I switch it to collider, and then I start to offset my collider. My character is drawn towards the collider center, which is about here, rather than the rigid body center, which is there. Uh, and the force target. Uh, chooses like when a rigid body is inside this uh, collider am I going to apply the force to the rigid body or the collider of that rigid body so uh, kind of the same deal just reversed and then force mode you actually have to if you're gonna change it you have to get out of play mode before you can change it uh, constant means that it will be a or it's gonna be a constant force no matter where you are in the uh, in the area uh, squared and linear will have fall offs so like the further you get to the edge, the less force it'll have on you. So right now it's pretty weak, and if I get him on the very edge it's even weaker. If it's closer, then it gets stronger and starts pulling him. Uh, and you can change how strong it is with the distance scale. So a really small distance scale uh, will kind of negate the uh, fall off, and a larger distance scale will make it so, you know, even if you're really close, it's gonna fall off really quickly. Uh, so the next one I want to talk about is kind of similar to the point effector 2D and that is the area effector and it's our last one. Uh, so this one is a kind of similar concept except instead of going to the center uh, of the area it's going to just push you in a direction. Uh, 0 is to the right and 90 is straight up uh, and so on and so forth. And this is good for if you need uh, buoyancy for like water or something. Uh, so here, let me just show you what it does. So it's pushing me to the right at a force with a force of 10. I can increase that force and it'll push me even more. Um, and I'm actually going to change it to 90. So if, I, if it's 90, he's going to be pushed upward. There we go. Bonk. Uh, force variation is kind of like the other variations where it's, you know, so you don't have a constant force, it kind of alternates a little bit. Drag and angular drag we already talked about. And the uh, force target is the same as the force target in the other one where do we want to apply the force to the player's rigid body center or the center of its collider? Um, this is kind of strong and weird looking. I'm going to decrease it to let's say 20 and lower it a little so there we go I'm just bobbing up and down in the water uh, yeah so that is it for all of the uh, 2d effector components I hope it was helpful be sure to like and subscribe if it was don't forget you can follow me on Facebook Twitter Google Plus all that stuff uh, and my website devination.com I always update all those media outlets whenever I uh, publish a new tutorial video. Leave a comment uh, if you have a tutorial suggestion you'd like to see, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.